standard operating procedures. The purpose is to give students a visual reference for steps that they're going to do every day. Um, so things like lining up or your morning routine, those are all SOPs. Um, so the whole point behind it is to give a visual to the kids so that you're not constantly repeating over and over again. When you come into the classroom, you do this, this, and this, and they keep saying, what's next, what's next, what do I do, I don't know what to do. You can just point to an anchor chart um, and you can make those together. Um, depending on what grade you're in, you might have to do more writing or maybe they can make them themselves and get in groups. I was thinking for the older groups, like third grade, that would be really cool for them to make their own SOP charts. Um, so we have like rules for iPads, um, good morning routine, calming yourself down. Um, there's one for RAS kids, which is really cool. Um, what to do during a fire drill, and then like when you hurt a friend's feelings, how can you apologize? And we talked about to make them more personal, we would take pictures instead of the cute clip art that we all love. Um, we would take we would take the kids' pictures. I do a, a morning arrival flowchart, and I take a picture of a kid walking in the classroom with his backpack. And then I take a picture of a kid hanging the backpack up on the hook. And then I take a picture of a kid putting their folder in the basket. And then we interactive write it. So use, making them more personal, other than the cute clip art pictures, we could make, take their pictures. Um, and then we also found like, where it's about how kids take ownership of their learning, not just the procedures, but of their learning. So kindergarten has been working on brag tags um, to track each standard, um, which we got the original idea from Terry Roman from Shrinky Dinks. So I just want to give you praise for that. Um, so then we did some research on brag tags and data notebooks. So we thought that would be a piece of them taking ownership of their learning. And then the SOP actual anchor charts would be the procedural aspect of the definition. And then Emily found this. Do you want to talk about <laughs> sure. it? Sure. So the benefits is to take things off of your plate so that you're not constantly repeating yourself. And I found um, it was set for business, but it works for us. It's the bare SOPs that make the teacher rest steady, so forget about your worries and your strength. They're going to be singing that now. <laughs> and then we just gave an example. Um, I know in kindergarten, when we do writers' workshops, Lucy Calkins says when you're you know, when you think you're done, you've only just begun. So I know Wiser had a chart in her room about it. So there's a couple of examples. So instead of them saying, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, you can just say, just point to the chart. Good job.